For the past three weeks, we've been working on our Egyptian book project where we had to do research from computers and books. And Ms. Kutu, the social studies teacher, had a librarian, an uh, illustrator come in <laughs> and teach us how to draw Egyptian people and whatnot. And then we had to type this up and do the illustration. Can I see the book? The book. Okay. For my summary, I'm not going to read that. You're not going to read that? <laughs> no, because then you don't already know about the book. Uh, okay, you never let me read a book I have. Lesson from the Great Sphinx, written and illustrated by Ariana Moore. This is dedicated to all my friends, Sierra, Natalie, Mama, Daddy, Aunts and Uncles, and all my other fake family, and my friends for always making me laugh when I need it, and also to my real family for always being there and providing me. I was going to say fake, my fake family. <laughs> and providing me the courage and needed to do some kind of things. I love. I would also love to dedicate this book to the best author of all time, Dr. Seuss. Love you all. Quite a while ago, a pyramid was built in order to hold Pharaoh Tozer's body when he passed. It began as a traditional flat roof masaba, but by the time it was finished, it stood as a six-step layer and was 204 feet high. It was the largest building of its time. This is my school. It is in the exact chambers in which Pharaoh Tozer was, uh, was buried, our principal. This is kind of strange, seeing that all that remains of him is his left foot. Anyway, my name is Aria, and this is a tale of the time when my class and I went to see the great things themselves. It also is a time when I learned a valuable lesson. Oh, wait, I had to read this page. 